Hi everyone, I'm Kachun Yu, Curator of Space Science here at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And today I'm going to talk about the total lunar eclipse that's coming up. So what is a total lunar eclipse? Well, a lunar eclipse is when the moon in its orbit around the Earth passes through the Earth's shadow. So you can imagine the sun uh, lighting up the Earth and the moon down behind it. And when it does that, the moon um, it loses the, the sun's illumination and so it goes dark. A total lunar eclipse is what happens when the moon can fall completely inside the Earth's shadow um, instead of being only uh, being clipped uh, by the shadow of the Earth. Now, um, even um, when you have a total lunar eclipse and you're looking at the moon in the sky, the moon can actually ap appear sort of blood red. You might wonder, you know, how is it that even when the moon is completely uh, blocked by the Earth's shadow, how can it appear reddish? Well, what happens is there's still sunlight streaming through the Earth's atmosphere. So the part of the atmosphere that's not blocked by or, or the solid block surface of the Earth. And just the same way that when you're looking at the setting sun towards the west, the sun looks kind of orangish or it looks reddish. And that's because the sunlight has to pass through a lot of the atmosphere in order to get to us. And as it does that, a lot of the blue light and sunlight gets scattered away, leaving only the red or the orange light. So that same way, sunlight passing through the Earth's atmosphere will retain a sort of a reddish tint, and that's the light that lights up the moon. And so when you, if you're able to see the total lunar eclipse, um, and when the moon is completely inside the Earth's shadow, the moon will actually appear slightly reddish. Now, um, where uh, do you have to be in order to see the lunar eclipse? Well, you don't have to stay in, in any special place as long as you can see the moon in the sky, as long as there are no clouds or there's not a building or a mountain in, in your way, um, you'll be able to see it. You don't need uh, binoculars or a telescope, although uh, a pair of binoculars might help you see more details.